Let's find a quiet place here. Let's see. If I'm here with a Mr. Robert Cromie. We are running an the Florida Skydiving League uh, um, tunnel kicker again. Yes. Uh, preparing the Florida teams for the NSL Championship. And uh, Cromie, <laughs> how did you how did you watch? Uh, how was it fun for you to watch the national? You are actually the first coach that rhythm members Steve and Janet Lefkowitz had in their forward yes. career. I watched the US Nationals with a lot of excitement for the team. I was feeling like I was there. Okay. Yes, knowing how Tell us a little bit about your history. How did it all begin? Yes, I coached Steve and Janet on some separate teams the year before the first uh, rhythm year. Found them to be very driven, husband and wife team very driven individuals, very organized and wanting, having high aspirations, high goals. Um, then the year that they formed the first team with myself as a coach, as a player coach with uh, Laurent Boudrin, um, I spent that year with them. We did about 200 jumps and about 20 hours of tunnel. It was all very systematically organized. They were very driven, very hungry for, hungry for knowledge. And I found them fantastic to work with. Very good, very good teammates, team players, and then since then, the, the year after that, when they uh, when they got um, other other people into the team, um, I, I watched their history, I watched their progression very very avidly. Fast, and it, fast forward then to fast forward to U.S. Nationals, and it was no secret that uh, they were targeting a medal this at, at this year's Nationals and of, uh, very much very much in reach. They've done about 800 jumps this year. Um, had a lot of information from a lot of different sources, different coaching sources. And um, it was very much within their reach, I thought. Um, I was really watching those first few rounds with, uh, with a lot of excitement and seeing them in second place. And I was, I was watching that round by round and they were still hanging on to second place. Um, fast forward to, uh, to the second day where I rounds nine and ten, the draw that those rounds were made up of were exactly the kind of rounds that a team coming in from behind, uh, an experienced team yeah. coming in from behind, would really um, put a lot of points on the board. Um, there was an opportunity to really catch up over there. So I was watching that with a lot of nervousness too. Yeah. <laughs> well, you weren't and the only fan. There were quite a few fans. Actually. Yes, I know there were a lot of fans. There was, I mean, I think there a lot of um, lot of the world was excited to see rhythm in second place at the U.S. Nationals over the first eight rounds. And uh, knowing, look, knowing, knowing what those rounds were, knowing the team, knowing the teams, uh, knowing um, the Knights and Fury, the experience over there. And that they really, uh, that really kind of um, eat those kind of rounds for breakfast and put a lot of, put a lot of points on the board. Now here, now here you are again at Eiffel Orlando tonight, and with this team as a player coach, uh, does it mean that some of your your player coach members here may end up on the top of the uh, leaderboard? <laughs> Who do we have? I Trevor. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Trevor Cedar, he's working as an instructor at Scott of the Land. Um, Gilles uh, Dutrisac is jumping with us, and he's, uh, his four-way progression has been great over this, uh, this year. He's had a fantastic U.S. Nationals. Pam Manos from Scott of Miami, uh, also a, a very uh, four-way driving force, is actually jumping in for Jane McGuire, 
and now there is somebody that I would, will not be surprised to see with a four-way medal uh, on a four-way four-way podium sometime in the in the in the near, near future. But just going back going back there to um, to the last two rounds, how it all ended up. Okay, some um, okay some penalties. Uh, maybe we can say some judging calls. That that happens to everybody. It's happened in all the meets. Okay, but um, you know what? Still a fantastic meet for Rhythm. Okay, I think I very proud of them. I'm looking forward to doing a few skydives with Rhythm yeah. when they come visit Florida again. Yeah, right. Okay, this winter, yeah. Then, I'll, then I'll have to really get my keep my act together. All right, Chromie. Well, keep up with the good work and keep bringing the talent. We need them we and need it shows that they, they go up there. All Thanks. Right. Now let's let's fly a little bit. Thank you very much. Right. Fly. Yeah. Okay. Bye. That was, yeah, that was great. Yeah.